Those in the prison system say a big reason people commit crimes is a lack of education or learned trade. Well, three weeks ago, we brought you a story about prison officials trying to offer more educational opportunities to inmates in an effort to decrease recidivism. KMAD 27's Kevin Morales went inside Northward to see what the people there think about the education system. One by one, Northward inmates walk into a classroom. They're learning math on this day, hoping the skills they learn will help them once they're released. It is beneficial because I believe that I, I will be going back into society, and when I do, I want to make sure that I re-establish myself and that I'm of use to myself and to those around me. While the people inside these walls are here to pay a debt to society, some use this time to learn skills to prevent them from ever coming back. O'Neill Robinson says he goes to class so he can try to get into art school once he's out, and his progress gives him self-esteem. I remember the first time when I came here, first English class I actually, when the teacher told me that it was spelling, I actually wanted to walk out. And the other day I sit an uh, spelling test and I get 30 out of 30. So. Phil Pace is a librarian at the prison. He says there's a lot of interest in the Rotary's literacy program. This place is an oasis in the prison, right? The prison is not a happy place to be. There's also a computer lab for inmates to use to come and prepare for classes or take CD and Gills exams on things like spreadsheets and word processing. In December, over 90% of the people who took the spreadsheets exam passed. There are also programs available to teach inmates things like carpentry, construction, painting, even barber skills. Those working in the prison say one reason people reoffend is because they just don't have the skills to get a legitimate job. So that's why we endeavor to give them that education, to give them a second chance, so to speak. But psychologist Davina Adu says there's more to it than just teaching them skills. It can give them a sense of purpose which can increase their self-esteem. She's hoping building that self-esteem will help inmates turn a corner in their lives. Kevin Morales, Command 27. And we spoke with the chief officer for the portfolio of internal and external affairs, Franz Manderson, a few weeks ago. He says it's important that employers are willing to give jobs to ex-inmates once they get out in order to help them fight recidivism. Stay tuned for K-Man 27 tonight when we talk to inmates who use art as a constructive outlet as they serve their time. My little girl had asked me to draw two pictures, and I decided to draw two pictures, and now I got me back into art. Stephen Eduardo Ebanks is paying his debt to society. He can't see his daughter as often as he would like, so he uses art as a way to connect with her. Most of these is hers, you know. I can give her this special, I did this special for her. Many inmates feel the need for a creative outlet while serving their time. Some do it by building things or working on the prison farm. Some find it through fine art. Well, it makes my time run fast, keeps me busy, keeps me from getting mixed up from in the crowd that is around me. Mr. Ebanks learned to draw in prison and has been doing it for seven months. He mainly makes pieces like these, featuring birds, using paint and crayons. He hopes to be able to one day make some money using his talents, and he's not the only one. Cynicas, that's what we use in the prison. O'Neill Robinson wants to pursue a career as an artist when he's released. He began drawing in high school. Art is something I love and it's a way of, of me being creative and expressing my feelings and the, the joy that I see people get like viewing and, and seeing my artwork. So it's encouraged me to continue to draw. He says it's his way to cope with being locked up. It's, it's, it's helped to like reduce that stress you know, in a sense of, you know, occupy a lot of my time like sitting down and then, as I said, when I finish draw, the joy that I actually get from it. And neither man plans to stop making their works of art anytime soon. Kevin Morales, Kim Man 27.